Okay guys, I think that I have managed to find the perfect way to become a freelancer in 20 day 3 super quickly. It is so easy that it seems surreal. I will show you my exact step by step and nothing will be left out. Over the course of the last six years or so, I have dedicated myself to climbing the ranks in the freelancing world. Today, I'm number one among 65 million members on freelancer.com and owner of one of the fastest growing tech agencies in Central Europe called Brightock. It has been a journey filled with ups and downs and I must admit, I have made a fair share of mistakes, a fair share of issues along the way. My aim now is to share my findings so that you can bypass those same hurdles that I had and start your freelancing journey on the right foot. And do you know what I really like about freelancing? It's the ability to travel and work from anywhere, earn great money, and at the same time help people around you. And for me, there are not many things in the world that are better than that. And for those new here, freelancing is a way of working where you offer your skills and services to clients or companies on a project by project basis, rather than as a regular employment just by a single company. It's a form of self-employment where you are essentially responsible for your own taxes, your life, and you're your own boss. But at the same time, you choose with whom you want to work, where you want to be, and when you want to do it. The first step to starting your freelancing journey is identifying your skills, and for me, more importantly, passions. For me, that was always sales, and while I did have a couple of skills myself, like uh, marketing uh, or advertising, I always preferred to find amazing talent and then either offer their services and take the cut out of that or build great teams. It will certainly help if you are already good at something, but if you are not, I got you covered, I promise. About 50% of the global workforce are freelancers, and while it might look like the competition is insane, I see it completely different. It is the best opportunity in the history of mankind to find people and what they are good at, partner up with them, and then sell their skills. Later, I'll show you exactly how you can do that. And if you already have skills, you would do everything exactly the same as I'll do in the rest of the video, just without the middleman. Back to this, if I were you, I would start with researching the freelancing skills that are in demand because that means that employers are willing to pay and in many cases they are willing to pay significantly more to find that right talent. It is quite unbelievable, but as freelancers are struggling to find employers, similarly employers are struggling to find great freelancers at the same time. And according to various online sources, some of the skills that are in demand revolve around data, AI, machine learning, design, development, marketing, and many, many more. And there are millions and millions of people that have those right skills. And this is where you come in. It would be great if you already have a portfolio, but if you do not uh, find individuals or teams that have done some great work in the past, and that are just struggling with sales. Unbelievable as it is, I had gazillion requests on freelancer.com and LinkedIn, but at the same time, I never had anyone come to me and offer to sell my services, and I really think that this is a brilliant opportunity. This way you can also skip the steps and get portfolio from those teams, which is very much needed to sell stuff. Before everything, you need to establish your online presence. Uh, set your profile up on freelancer.com and you will see that in my last video before this one I speak about how to set a perfect profile, then perfect your LinkedIn, of course clean up your social networks because clients will Google you and you do not want some weird things to show up. And here's my promise step-by-step -step method on exactly what needs to be done. First, you need to set your profile up on freelancer.com, uh, which I suggest, or other freelancing networks. My pick for freelancer.com is because it's much easier to get work uh, than on some other sites and at the same time it has the biggest talent pool in the world. Second, you need to build a database of individuals and teams uh, that are willing to share their work with you and in order for you to sell their services. Next on is that you need to bid on various projects that are matching those of your contractors. You need to know the price of your contractors and then add your profit margin on top of it. For example, I wanted to test this method, so I found a copywriting gig because it was 
absolutely the hardest. I have zero reviews for this skill, absolutely zero copywriting skills or experience. I'm not even a native speaker and none of the companies that I own are actually doing it. After a bit of bidding, uh, I got my first gig for $250 for 1500 words and here is the exact bid I used to get it. I wrote that we are a team that uses an innovative method of copywriting uh, where we use both the power of AI and then uh, the human touch on top of it to enhance it to get the best of both worlds. Once I got the gig, I then went into search and found top freelancers on freelancer.com and I was super honest with them. I said that we are selling some services via chat GPT and that we needed to redone to avoid being banned by Google or other search engines. And I got an offer from one of the top freelancers for $120 for 1500 words. I again recommend freelancer, but if you're, if you're not well versed with it, uh, there are many other sites uh, where you can also find great talent. The most important thing is that you actually build a database that you always have experts ready at hand. In my case, I prefer to stick to around 20 people or teams uh, per skill so that I always have enough room if some are busy or if anything happens. And why was this great? For a couple of reasons. Number one, I made sure that the client is getting the best possible work and this is the most important thing in the world, period. Number two, freelancer that I work with is being treated as it should and paid a full requested price and no questions asked. You can always negotiate, but my experience is that whenever I was negotiating too hard, the end work would suffer. So in my opinion, you need to find a healthy balance. And number three, out of $250, I made $130 on top for a bit less than an hour of work. How great is that? Another thing that I would do is to use a cold email tool called Apollo. With Apollo, you can find out the decision makers and reach out directly to them via email and offer your services. This will, at the same time, increase your chances of selling stuff. Please be cautious, because in Europe we have a data protection law which is called GDPR, and this might be the case for other places in the world, so make sure that you consult with a legal team before doing any of the activities and on the best practices. If you want to see exactly how my cold email looks like, write Matt's email down in the comment section, and I will make sure to add it down. The best thing of all is that there is absolutely nothing in the world uh, stopping you from reusing this method, then replicate it, perfect it, scale it, automate it, and you will see soon enough how easy it is. In order for you to have everything, I have also created a video on how to build a perfect profile here and how to write custom winning bids that win five times more here so that you have everything that you can possibly need for a perfect freelancing start. Like always, see you in the next one.